Uh, hi, I'm Griff. I'm the spokesperson for the embassy, and I love hamburgers. On our first summer back from COVID, I think it's important to talk to you a little bit about how to make a perfect hamburger. And since I'm from Texas, this is very serious, but also very simple. Let's talk a little bit about the meat first, because this is really important. We are not making sekana, we are not making meatballs, we're making hamburgers. So all you need is really good beef, preferably 20% fat in your beef. You're not gonna mix anything in there, you're not gonna add any garlic or onions or anything else, because what you really wanna taste is the beef. This is also important. You're gonna salt and pepper only the outside of the hamburger and only when you're about ready to cook it. If you look at these patties, they have a little bit of a dent in them and that's to make sure they don't turn into baseballs, that they stay flat and turn into good hamburgers that we can use. So we're almost ready to cook. So I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on this right now. You can go heavy with the salt and pepper. A lot of this will fall off inside of the grill. I'm about to put them on the grill. You can use charcoal or you can use gas. I hope you'll use charcoal. It lets you stand around for a while and drink beer and everybody will come to you and ask what you're doing. So the, the size of the burger, and we have pretty good buns, I've used about 250 grams of beef. Uh, but because it has 20% fat, don't forget that a lot of that is gonna melt onto the grill and they will shrink. Uh, and because you're cooking it on a grill and not on a flat top stove, you want these burgers to be pretty thick so that you can get a good uh, outside that's nice and crispy and inside it stays juicy. So let's put these on. We're also gonna melt a little butter while we're doing it and I'll show you why later. You don't wanna mess with these too much while they're grilling. Just let them sit, let them get, uh, let them get good and grilled up because if you try to flip them too soon, all of your meat will stick to the grill and you won't have a good hamburger. So let them sit for a while and chill out. That's how the grill is at the perfect temperature. Have some more beer. So I'm, I actually brought this beer back from Kromejij. It was made at the uh, Cherny Orel uh, Pivovar. Uh, so I'm enjoying a nice Moravské Pivo today. Yeah, you want to add a little bit of butter onto the beef that keeps it uh, nice and juicy on the inside, even as the fat is dripping away. So that's why we have some melted butter. Let's see if one of these might be ready to flip. When you're ready to flip, you just wanna test it and see if it's coming loose from the grill. That one's not quite, quite ready, so we're gonna let it hang out a little bit more and we don't wanna leave half of your burger on the grill. Drink more beer, hang out, enjoy, enjoy your life. You're outside, it's summertime. Yeah, see, so this one's ready. It came away pretty clean and we're ready to flip that over and it looks beautiful on that side. It's got nice, nice brown crust. Same for this one, it's ready, looks good. Once you flip them, put a little bit more of the butter on don't worry if the grill flames up a little bit. Yeah, that one's ready too. Be gentle the first time you flip them. There you go. For 
put some more melted butter on those bad boys. And have more beer. Let's talk about what you should put on a hamburger. Uh, in Texas, we use a lot of mustard, maybe some barbecue sauce. If you are three to five years old and really love ketchup, you can go ahead and put ketchup on it. Uh, I do ask you, please, let's respect the hamburger and not use mayonnaise on a hamburger. Ding. So as you're watching this, you can start to tell it's getting ready when the hamburger starts to uh, kind of leak a little bit of clear juices uh, and it starts getting firm on both sides. You can poke it a little bit with your finger, especially if you have clean hands. And as it starts to be less soft and more kind of firm, that's how you know it's getting ready. These still have some more time, so we're gonna let them hang out because we're not in a hurry and we have beer. And like I said, when you're grilling for a party, you are the center of attention. Everybody will come by, everybody wants to talk to you. Uh, you're kind of the king of the yard, so just enjoy it. If you are one of those people, don't bother the person cooking on the grill. This is that person's zone. You may have a way you like to do it, but uh, nobody needs any input. It'll be good, trust me. All right, look, see how clean that came away? We can flip them again. Some people have theories about how often you should flip a burger, no more than once. Uh, that's not true. You can flip it as many times as you want. You just want to make sure you're not, uh, you're not leaving the meat on the grill. And actually it helps it cook more evenly when you're flipping it a little bit more than just once or twice. Every time you flip, put a little more butter on there. You are at a barbecue and 4th of July party. You're not at the gym. So enjoy the beer and butter. All right, so these are almost done. So we're gonna, we're having cheeseburgers today. I'm gonna melt some cheese on top of it. You want a cheese that melts nicely. I've got some white cheddar here, but it's kind of whatever you want, what flavor you like. Put one slice on each of them. Then we close the grill, just let it get nice, melty. That'll only take maybe a minute at most. Ding. All right, we have burgers now. This is the most important part, almost, besides picking your meat. Uh, you can't just put these now on a bun and start to eat them even though I want to and you want to, we all want to. They need a little bit of time to let all of the meat juices flow back into the center of the hamburger. So let them sit there for a little bit. Maybe three, four, five minutes is fine. You still want them warm. Uh, and we can talk about dressing your hamburger. All right, so you remember when I said we're not making you know, we're not making meatloaf, sekana, we're not making meatballs, we're making hamburgers. Most of your flavor can come from the meat and from what you put on it. So while we're waiting for these hamburgers to rest, we'll go ahead and dress one of these burgers up. Uh, as I mentioned, in Texas we like mustard on our burger, so I'll put some mustard on the bottom and on the top of the bun. Uh, we'll have some onions on the bottom. We'll have a tomato slice or two on top. And some salad, some lettuce there. Uh, I like fresh or grilled jalapenos on my hamburger, but I'm making this one for my friends uh, and colleagues, so we'll go ahead and leave them off. And we'll go ahead and get a burger that's been sitting out over here, leaking all over the plate. And we'll put it there. This is massive, but again, you are at a party, you're outside, you're loving life. That is a real burger.